The Cardinal State Charter of the Catholic Diocese of Kufanchan has condemned bandits' attack on St. Raphael Parish in Fadan Kamatan Zangan Takata for the government area of Cardinal State, which resulted in the death of a young seminarian. Now, the bandits are said to have stormed the parish residents in large numbers and set fire to the rattery, where two priests escaped and one other young seminarian, Bro Naman Adenlami, uh, was killed. Reverend Dr. Joseph Ayab, the chairman of Cardinal State, can uh, criticize the frequency of bandits carrying out attacks on innocent lives and properties, citing over 66 cleric deaths, motorcycles, and large ransom payments over the years. Kinetic action and other actions need to work together to solve problems. I think one of the things we always tell government is that there are areas where force will be used, there are areas where diplomacy will be used, the area where connection will be used. I have always said this and I want to repeat. Until and unless people trust government, people will not say what they see. People will not say what they know. Because those who have come out to speak against evil have ended up finding themselves in danger. The government must sit up. One important primary responsibility of government is protecting lives and properties of citizens. Whether through kinetic strategy or whatever strategy, government have the power to do it. But if government refuse to do it and possibly even turn to accuse the people and attack the people, criminals will say, oh, government is speaking for us and continue to have a field day. That's why I will always call and I want to appeal to the current governor. And look, let there be a change in our strategy. Let there be a change in the way we engage. Yes, recently he has been calling on so many meetings. We must say this to see how we can work together. Let's continue and intensify this until the result is achieved. He also lamented the continuous attacks on the citizens, calling on the federal and state government to intensify efforts to end the security challenges, which is their primary responsibility. Sad, it is painful. It is unfortunate that we are still experiencing this kind of evil destruction of lives and properties in Pedro Yesterday, around 8 p.m., this government came in their numbers, they set the rectory on fire. And sadly, a young seminarian, who I understand was not really feeling fine, that was why he was home, got caught up in the fire and died. Kamantong attack. To us as the church, we are saddened. To us as a church, we are grieving. To us as a church, we are in pain. How long will this thing continue? If you just look from the clergy point of view, Kaduna State have lost not less than 16 clergy due to bandit attack and kill. When will our security agencies truly wake up and act responsibly? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.